Thank you so much for getting Banner Ninja. In this video training, I'm going to show you how to edit and customize these banner templates. And it's very simple if you know some basic of Photoshop. If you don't know, I can always outsource it or show your outsourcer how to do that. So uh, once you unpack your product, you will see different folders. So from 0 to 1 to 30, there are different, uh, different banner variations for each one. Inside each folder, you will see PSD files. These are Photoshop files, so just double click it and to open Photoshop and also you'll find PNG file. And PNG files are just for a preview so you know what the banner is, looks like. And also you'll see the file names are just the pixel sizes. So it's 120 width to 600 height. <clears throat> okay, and so on. So you'll see, you can easily uh, find which size you want. So for example, the, the very popular size is 336 to 280. So let's open this banner and I'm going to show you how to edit this one. So just double click it. You see it just opened up. In order to change the text, because you will see there are images you can replace and also the text. So in order to first change the text, you have to just go to the T on the left or just press T on your keyboard and then click on any text you, you see. Okay, just click this text, click OK. It's a Tahoma, so it's a basic font you should have. So you can change it, for example, to um, how one legged man changed the world using this magic substance illegal. Okay, so that's a, just some some basic headline you can use. Because, for example, for this and uh, for this banner, it's more a news news banner. Okay, you have two news two news stories you can put to get a lot of really a lot of clicks because it's much less less normal than the regular banners it's much more unique um, it doesn't look like advertisement that's why that's how you can get a lot of clicks from it okay so that's how you change the text if you want to change the uh, the image itself you can just right click you'll see the shape number one it's in the in the layers here if you want to replace make sure it's similar size so it fits so for example if i want to um, put some image. Okay, so I just found some image, uh, some tomato image, so I'm going to use this one. So in order to first import this image, you just uh, press the left key and you see just drag it to Photoshop. It's going to open the image in the new window. And then you press V on your keyboard, just click this icon. And then you again drag it to this tab. Okay, drag it, drag and drop. So this is the image, you can now move it however you want. Now this image is too big, so we have to, to, to change the size. So I'm going to press Command T or Control T if you're on, on Windows. We can also go to the Edit Transform Scale. And with the Shift, make sure to press the Shift so it's, uh, it scales nicely, you can make it smaller. Okay, so let's do it like, like that. Okay, so it looks much better now. And you know, I'll, I'll also remove the this uh, black image, okay? With the just clicking this uh, eye icon, so it's not, it doesn't appear here. And let's, for example, click double click it and make a border. So double click it and go to the stroke. You do one stroke inside, and so it looks better like this, okay? So you can do this, and that's and that's how you can place the image. Now you can change the image, the second image, the same way. So I'm going to just right click and double duplicate the layer. You should use a unique image here. And you just do that. And that's how you change the images and you change the text, basically. Once it's all done, just go to the file, save for web. Now you, you may want to change, save as PNG or JPEG. It depends on your size or what's your ad network approved. So JPEG is more popular, definitely. So just save it and it's done. Okay, then you upload to your ad network and and you can you can run that. So that's basically how it works to customize, you know, to edit the basically the banner. Now I'm going to show you how to customize it. So let's let's do let's find some cool let's see banner that we can customize nicely. So let's see. Okay, so let's use this one. Let's use okay. this is a very interesting banner. You see it's a blue background. So I'm going to show you, for example, how to change the, the, the color of the background. So all you have to do is just go to the layers window 
and you see the shape one okay just right click the background and you just select shape one it's mostly shape one in most cases you can test that this is the background and you just double click with this the small rectangular icon here with the blue background you double click it and now you can easily change the background okay by just going through the color picker okay so if you want for example yellow you can make it super super yellow okay like this and then we can change later more because now it doesn't really stand up to the button so we right click and shape number two let's make it maybe red okay or orange orange red okay it's cool but now the learn more it doesn't really it's not that visible so let's let's go to the to the text um, text function or just press T on your keyboard and let's click this uh, this text and let's change the color here to white okay let's do okay so what else we can change we can also change the, the color of this font okay for example to be something like that okay we can also um, right click the, the arrow here we can change the arrow to layer number number three so there's a you see there's a arrow here so let's make the arrow go here for example and let's double click this in the layer and let's make it a different color for example make it black okay and so now you can make it um, you know make it unique however you want so that's how you can customize it there are many other ways to customize but these are the the basic one just change it the, the text color on background color you can also change the font just click it and you can change for example to yeah to a, to a different one okay for example to impact you can change it to impact for example make it smaller so it's really up to you what you want to change okay you can change the the placement for example the text can be here and here can be the the headline you can also make the headline bigger smaller you can make the headline for example back pain here's the solution okay you can change that uh, if you see that um, the line height between lights is too big just press this icon and you'll see this character window and in this section you just have to make it smaller so there's a less um, space between lines so it's, now it looks better uh, so there are just basic things so you need to know some basic Photoshop to do that or just hire someone to do it for you but said that's how you can change yourself the, the banners to make them unique and also for the split testing very useful for example change colors to see which one performs the best okay so thank you so much for watching and enjoy the banners thank you so much